Hello everyone. Welcome to our series presented by Bioinformatics for All. In the last two video, we talked about how to install R and how to assign an R. In this video, we will talk about scalars and vectors. In the next three videos, we will talk about matrices, lists, functions, and factors. So let's go into our topic today, scalars and vectors. But before we start, I just want to give you a general idea about data structure types in R. So data structure types in R can be either scalars, vectors, matrices, lists, factors, functions, arrays, and data frames. I don't want you to worry about them right now. We are going to discuss two of them today, and we will discuss uh, all of them in the next few videos. But I draw this figure to help you uh, understand a little bit. So scalars is a one-dimensional data type that has only one element in it. Victors is a one-dimensional data type which has more than one element. Matrix is a two-dimensional data type and array is multi-dimensional data type. And also we have tables and lists. So now you have an idea about data structure in R. And in the last video, we discussed data type in R. So I want to give you a real life example so it will stick to your mind. So a scalar you can imagine it as a motorcycle, Victor you can imagine it as a car, matrix as a bus, and array as double decker bus. So numeric can be a boy, logical it can be a dog, and character can be a robot. Just as an example. So what R is doing is placing your boy into the bus alongside with the dogs and robot and so many other things. Since the double-decker bus has seat number, you can call any data you want. So that's the idea, is organizing the data in a way that you can understand so you can call it later. So let's start with the scalars. A scalar data structure is the most basic data type in R. It has one dimensional data that holds only one single element. It can either be numeric, logical, and character. And we discussed this in the previous slide and last video too. So just to remind you what's numeric and what's logical and what's character. So numeric can be a integer number or decimal. Logical can be true or false and character can be strings or text. So a little tip for you. You can code with the space, but also you can code without space, like in this example. But it's better to put space in your code so you will be able to read it when you come back to it after a long time. Also, when you assign a letter or text, you need to write that letter or text between this quotation mark, not this. So let's go to exercise one. So exercise one. We are assigning Barack to first name and Obama to last name. So we want to print both of them, Barack Obama. So we need to use the paste function. So we write paste, first name, last name, and it prints Barack Obama using the paste function, which connects two texts. Also, scalar can be a sentence. It's still a one element. It doesn't matter how long it is, it's just one element. So we can assign let's meet at the park to address. And when you print address, it will print you let's meet at the park. So we can go to our studio. And again, you copy the code I wrote under the description. After you open our script and paste them here, you just bring the cursor to this line and we will press control enter. So now we assigned Barak to first name. And now control enter, we assigned Obama to last name. And now we are using the paste function to connect them. Control enter and here Barak Obama. Also, we are assigning let's meet at the park to address. And also you can see here, when we assign something, immediately it's saved here. And now let's print address, 
control enter and you can see here down let's meet at the bar so let's go to vectors a vector is one dimensional data that holds more than one element of the same type so it can either be numeric logical character so how to create a vector let's start with the using the c function so what's c function c function allows you to create a vector with the different elements such as numeric with the character and logical let's go to exercise two for example you want to assign different data type numeric character and logical so you will use the c function also what we can do is we can ask r the lengths of our vector so we write length a we get four so let's go to uh, exercise two here so let's assign this vector to a control enter and as you can see our vector is assigned to a and now we want to know the length of our vector current vectors control a and it says four here as you can see one two three four so note that if you are going to assign more than one character in your vector you need to write each character between quotation mark put comma between each character and put all of them inside round brackets as in this example if your code doesn't work just go and check if your commas are in place your uh, quotation mark are in place so in exercise 3 we are we are going to use the column operator to create a vector of consecutive numbers so what does that mean so if you want to create a vector which contains the numbers from 1 to 10 so instead of writing 1 2 3 4 5 until 10 you are going to write 1 colon and 10 and assign it to a so print a you will get from 1 to 10 so you don't need to write a every time to print your value if you want to assign your vector to a and you want to print a at the same time you just write it exactly like this you assign your vac uh, you assign your vector to a and semicolon you write a and your vector will be printed so let's go to exercise three so now we here are creating a vector from one to ten so control enter and print it at the same time immediately as you can see here it uh, are printed a vector which contains 10 numbers from 1 to 10 and also you can see it here in exercise 4 we are going to learn how to use sequence function to create number so sequence function creates numbers with the specific interval between them so for example if you want to uh, create a vector specifies your step size for example you are saying here you want to create a, a vector from 1 to 50 and between each number there should be 5 so and let's print it and you will get it 1 6 11 16 and so on also the sequence function can create numbers with the specific vector length for example we want to uh, create a vector from 1 to 10 and it has only five numbers so when we print we will get five numbers from 1 to 10 let's go and try these exercises so we can uh, assign we can create this control enter now we created a vector which contains 1 to 50 and uh, five between them and here let's create a vector consists of five elements from 1 to 10 control enter and we get here 1 3.25 5.5 7.75 5 and 10 so how to access elements in a vector 
Vector indexing in R starts from one, not like other programming language where they start from zero. So in exercise five, we are gonna access the fourth element in this vector. So what we are gonna write, we are gonna write A, square bracket, and we are asking the fourth element in our vector. And it's saying 20. So we can go to R again to exercise five. We can create, first of all, assign this vector, control enter. Now we assign it, you can see here, and you can see it here too. Now we are asking the fourth element. So control enter and it says here 20, 20. Also, what we can do is we can access more than one element. For example, we wanna access the first and the fourth element. So we need to write a square bracket C function one, four, and you will get one and 20. Again, here you can see, let's run the code and you see here one and 20, the first and the fourth. So how to modify a vector? For example, we have this vector and we want to modify the fourth element 20 from, from 20 to 30. So what we will write a square bracket and we are going to assign 30 to it. So what we are doing is here we are calling first we are calling the fourth element and we are assigning 30 to it and we are printing it and we will get 1, 5, 10 and instead of 20, 30. So again we can go here and we can first create this vector a vector of from 1, 1, 5, 10, and 20. And now we are going to change the fourth element from 20 to 30, and we print it. And you can see here, we get 30. So how to delete a vector? So we can uh, delete a vector by assigning it to a null. For example, we have a, this vector assigned to A. Now we are assigning null to A and print A, and we will get null. So a question, maybe maybe a question in your mind, what's this, I see it all the time. There is a one before my answer. So one tells you that your screen printout is starting at a vector item number one. So let's have a example to explain it more. If we create a vector which contains 60 variables from one to 60, so we learned how to do this, uh, create a vector from 1 to 60 without writing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are going to just write 1, column, 60, and this semicolon A to print our vector. And we can see here it is printed now. So we can see here 1 and 47. 1 is starting item on this line is variable number 1. And 47 is starting item on this line is variable number 47. So it's the number of the variable. That's it for me today. Thank you for watching. Keep safe and stay at home.